Songs of protest on the streets of Kiev, their refrain, it's hard to be still in prison. Their message was clear. As day turned to night, the demonstrations swelled in size. The momentum was being kept up. But the message from President Viktor Yanukovych was equally clear. The money being offered by the European Union was not nearly enough for the Ukraine. 610 million euros budgeted is a technical help for Ukraine. Starting from 2010, three years in a row, they were showing us this candy in a nice wrapper and they were saying, you will get it when you sign an agreement with the IMF. I don't want to be rude, but you don't have to humiliate us like this. You know, we are not little children. You can't buy us with sweet candy. They say that beggars can't be choosers, but President Yanukovych is obviously proving very choosy. He prefers Russia's charity to the European Union's. The protests have remained largely peaceful so far. They're nothing like the scale of the Orange Revolution in 2004. But the feeling of betrayal is strong, buoyed by the hunger strike of their imprisoned former Prime Minister, Yulia Tymoshenko. The opposition accuses the government of using the European negotiations to get a better deal for cheaper gas and loans from Moscow. If you want to swallow Ukraine, to swallow, to swallow uh, Moldova, there are good solutions. Yeah? Just give enough money to the present Ukrainian government through international uh, institutions, they will sign. President Yanukovych still means to go to the European summit in Lithuania. He says his decision not to sign a deal is just a pause in the move towards the West, to avoid the country becoming a battleground between the EU and Russia. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Kiev.